It's the same palm tree. That's how that it's did the exact here. same crazy. palm tree. Oh my gosh! I, it is ridiculous how out of shape I am. I just told you it's not a heavy tree, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it lung here in just a minute. Give me just oh. a second. We can plug. We're gonna plug it in. Well, while they're doing that, I'm gonna answer a couple questions. We've had customers ask, uh, "Why don't you carry Jayco? Yeah, why don't you carry Grand go. Design?" That was the the two main ones. How many ones. people does it take to plug and in I'd a like tree? I'd like to address that real quick. There's several manufacturers that don't want to do business with us, very honestly, because we are too affordable. Uh, and it makes their dealer base mad. So the dealers get mad because they can't charge whatever they want for a trailer. Uh, wow. And uh, Jayco's one that protects dealers' ability to be able to overcharge. Grand Design. Uh, Grand Design is the other one. So both those names have come up. I thought I would just address it real quick. Yeah. Uh, but, but they don't want dealers that sell real affordable because then their dealer base gets mad because they can't do the, the enormous markups. You know, we just, we had it proven today on the show, if you're watching, someone tried to say that another dealer was $20,000 cheaper than right. us. In reality, they were $20,000 more, more than, than us. us. Uh -huh. And that's the norm. You know, we normally find minimum, we save people $6,000. And if you look at a, a large fifth wheel, if you look at motorhomes, uh, large toy haulers, we're going to save them normally about $20,000. Right. Wow. That angers a lot of dealers for obvious reasons, right? They want to make that huge markup. Uh -huh. uh, and a great example is we had a lady one time looking at a, a Rockwood in California, and she asked, well, how do I get service and how do I get parts? So we explained, no big deal. We've got service centers and people all over California to take care of you. We ship the parts to you. Right. And then she told me what the price she was paying at a local California dealer, and literally it was twice our price. I said, well, good mm -hmm. news. Buy two from me. Wow. You're still saving about $300. Put one in the backyard and part it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's how crazy the pricing right. is wow. out there. But, but again, if you ask, why don't we have uh, Jayco? Why don't we have Grand Design by their choice? Because just being honest, they would rather protect a dealer's ability to overcharge a customer. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. And, it, and it's seen all the time. It really is, especially uh -huh. with your dealers that are farther away. Every single camper is built really almost every single one. I mean, you got the few oddballs that are, you know, um, you know, that are outside of Elkhart, Indiana. They're all built there. So okay. you got to think the farther you get away from the dealership or farther away you get from the manufacturer, the more expensive things are going to be to get yeah, there. That makes sense. Hey, Lane, we did not put the awning out because Melanie wants to know how does the awning work with the slide outs? Oh, oh yeah. So for, do you mind sure. showing her that? We'll catch it here on tape. Yeah, for sure. So um, really simple, actually, um, in terms of the slide out uh, and the awning. Um, Everything is going to be all one touch on the inside of this. Um, but nonetheless, let's get to where it needs to go here. All right. So this thing right here, uh, there's different. It's, a, it's, a, it's all a one big control system, all one touch LED um, control system, right? And so basically, you have to go through the different options and get to where you want to go. Um, there's a button that says awning. Um, when you go to the awning, it does give you an option to either retract or extend it. I'm going to extend it. Now, as you see, everything's coming out here, catching that on video as our awning comes up there. Melanie, hopefully, hopefully you're watching. This is for you. You want to know how the slide out or how the awning worked uh, over the top of the slide out. Now you see. Yeah. So there it is. So really simple and easy. Like I said, on these bigger high dollar campers, though, they do have a huge control panel where it's all LED. It's kind of like a smartphone. And actually, you can actually link your smartphone up to it, operate everything out here while you're out here. So wow. um, this big horn in particular, um, $63,153. All right, $450 a month, roughly. <laughs> I'm going I'm to laugh every time you tell me the monthly payments. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to get used to the fact oh, that yeah. it's, it's that, uh, that that reasonable. For sure. And, and it's, actually, it's unreasonable <laughs> in, the, in the opposite way that you would think. Well, I you got to think MSRP on this thing. With, with some people, what some dealerships are actually selling this, you're talking at right around ninety to $100,000, right? Uh -huh. and, and it's very easy for a dealer to ship to sell it that way because it's Bighorn. 
Right. That's the name in the industry. Everybody okay. knows Bighorn, right? You probably don't know Bighorn, I don't but know Bighorn. I know Bighorn. I do now. <laughs> They're one of the biggest <laughs> names in the industry. And that's what everybody that, that's looking for, like, a quality camper, the retirement camper, um, that they're going to travel the nation in. Uh -huh. They're looking bighorn, right? Okay. And that's just one of those names that just stick out in people's mind is, hey, i got to have a bighorn, right? So that's why people will overcharge for this very easily. And mm -hmm. people are more than willing to pay for it because they've been saving up their whole entire lives for something right. like this. So just kind of a wow. heads up in terms of what we're about to step into is, like I said, a bighorn, right? Um, this particular uh, unit is the 3995FK. All right, and basically what FK means is front kitchen. All right, so... Okay. Um, this one's got to have a huge front kitchen up there in the top, but um, outside, just kind of pointing out everything, guys, pretty self-explanatory. We've already explained just about everything out here on previous campers, outside speakers, big pass-through storage. Um, you got the auto leveling. You got the awning that comes out, uh, which we did here for you guys, right? Um, and then the LED light strip up top here as well. So um, pretty much standard in terms of that, but let's go. After you, my man. All right. Here go. So, wow. So... We've seen we've seen the bedroom up top. We've seen the living room, and now we see the this first kitchen. Yeah, exactly. And so this right here, I'll kind of let you guys explore here on this front kitchen. This has got one slide in the kitchen, all right. Um, and yeah. then also this, so this side right here with the oven, that's going to slide out. Um, you do have a little. Um, you obviously have plenty of storage up front there. Huge windows um, as well. Um, in terms of everywhere across the coach, lots of tons of counter space lots across everything. Lots of counter space. Uh, the, obviously, the most counter space we've seen so far. Because you got all this over here. Oh, correct. And then over here next to the, the oven. Yeah, and then um, on the left side here, as you guys kind of pan down here, you guys are going to see there's a little bit bar right yeah, there, right? Yeah, that's great. And so the, the TV is right over the bar. Uh -huh. Okay, so when you're eating your... You know, eggs and bacon and pancakes in the morning when you're out right. camping. You know, that's our ritual. You know, eggs, pancakes, yeah. and bacon. That's just what we do yeah. in the morning um, <laughs> when we're out camping. But um, then you can see the TV if that's something that you guys watch. Morning news, stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, guys, real quick. Uh, people are already saying they're having a very hard time getting through to buy the palm trees. Okay. Uh, and the chairs. We'll extend it. Oh, yeah. Relax. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll take care of you. We promise. Keep calling. Sorry if it's busy. I'm assuming I'm, I'm going to say what you said again just in case we're not picking that up well um we've got the flash sale going on for the palm trees the light up palm trees both five foot and seven foot it's 90 dollars for the five foot 135 for the seven foot and mm -hmm. then the chairs are 55 dollars a piece high quality uh we're doing a flash sale this flash is a little longer flash than what you would normally think because we want to make sure we get them to you. Uh, we're calling them flash sales because it sounds good, but we want to make sure that you get in <laughs> if you want the right. you want the stuff. So do not do not get frustrated. I know it can be frustrating getting a busy signal or being thrown to voicemail. Don't think that you're going to miss out on the deal. We want to get these to you. Yeah, and then uh, we've had several people re request a fifth wheel toy hauler. Mm -hmm. We're working on that now. We're okay. going to try to work one in for them. Okay. Great. And also, Robert says that he has researched the whole country. He lives in California, and we are by far the best deal. Awesome. Amen to so that. Thank you, Robert. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so you guys have been telling me the truth the whole time? Well, we wouldn't lie to you. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what a way to run a business. <laughs> yes, sir. Our value? All right. Um, so nice refrigerator yeah so basically this refrigerator is going to be a little bit different ones than the ones that we've actually seen okay so this refrigerator is a gas electric where all the other ones have been residential okay basically the only difference is this will run off of propane or electric okay the other one just strictly runs off electric gotcha. okay so this is for people that um you know have you know a fear of things um, shutting down at the campsite or something like that um as you can tell though uh, 18 cubic foot um is what this uh, particular unit is mm -hmm. um and so a very large refrigerator Top freezer as well, um, in terms of that. Okay, so large refrigerator, and this one, like I said, runs off gas electric. So it's even bigger than most people's home refrigerator uh, refrigerators. Uh -huh. Even though this one runs off gas electric, where home obviously does not. Right. So, right. Just yeah, you know, kind of a heads up there. But um, you know, a big thing I, I talked about in the uh, Cardinal, um, and I, I didn't talk about it in the uh, Sandpiper, is the head height. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, you're six foot on you know six one six two, right? right. You know, I still got room up here. So yeah. even tall people can be up in this and not have to hit their head because it is a full profile unit. Okay, right. it goes straight all the way across instead of dipping down. Mm -hmm. All right, so you don't have to worry about anything crazy like six that. Six two, you, you don't have to even, even feel or, like even yeah. if it's plenty of room, you feel plenty of room. Oh, up correct, there. Like, correct. Yeah. yeah. And so like in some you know some travel trailers, they do have shorter roofs, uh -huh. right? And so you just feel like you're gonna smoke your head on something, right? You know, and, and this is not that feeling. You know, you, you got a lot of room in this one. Yeah, for sure. This is a nice, this is a nice kitchen. All right, this is my favorite kitchen so far that we've seen. 
Looks like we got a question here. Yeah. Hey, guys, a couple questions. Uh, Paul wants to know about the uh, whether the Bighorn is all seasons, so I guess four seasons. Uh, and then one other question from uh, Martinez wants to know the actual cost on this unit. So if you can get both those for us, that'd be awesome. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So um, like I said, in terms of cost on the unit, I believe I'm going to have my guy come back through here and uh, help us out with pricing. But, um, yes, Bighorn is an all-seasons camper, okay? okay. That is something that they are using um, in total amount of time um, in terms of that. But uh, price on this particular unit, like I said, options vary on most campers. But this particular one, we're at $63,153. Um, and that one, uh, again, $450 a month Okay, on this one. So um, like I said, um, this does have the heated and enclosed underbelly. Um, you got plenty of room inside this one and things like that to where you guys are going to be able to take, uh, you know, be taken care of um, in terms of like, yeah, cold weather, hot weather, and things like that. Um, we are more than happy to explain a little bit more in terms of that heated holding tanks are another big one that are come on this one as well. Um, but like we said, in terms of like, um, counter space and things like that across the, um, across the Bighorn, Bighorn also has a, you know, a really cool feature where they actually have day night shades. Okay. Where this one right here is going to come down. You got the day shades and then you have the blackout night shades. All right. So you can still obviously see out of it, but you know, kind of keep the heat from coming in. Um, yeah. but Again, that's something that Bighorn um, and some other trailers do as well. But, right. you know, predominantly Bighorn has something like that. Again, those minor details. Oh, for sure. For sure. They're awesome. Uh, man, I plenty, I've noticed this is going to sound weird also. Plenty of outlets in a lot of these Correct. RVs. Correct. Correct, yeah. Like, you're not going to run out of uh, outlet space. For sure. Which, um, you know, and things that things that make Bighorn different than everybody else. I mean, you look up top here, crown molding. Mm-hmm. How many of the campers have we stepped in that did not have crown molding? Right. Every single other one of them. Uh -huh. um, they just had a you know small piece. Bighorn has the crown molding on it, okay? So that's another thing that they're going over and beyond. This is actually a light that goes up underneath it. You can actually oh, really? see it here on this oh, yeah, backside yeah. right here. Um, it has a light on it to where you can um, you know see kind of what you're looking at, what you're doing, and things uh -huh. like that um, in there. But since you have the kitchen up front, you obviously have to have your living room area, yep. which is what we're standing in now. Yeah. You know, three couches, recliners. <laughs> You'll never guess. Thomas Paine again, obviously, right. top of the line quality in terms of the uh, recliners. 40 inch um, fireplace on this guy. Also, we can fit quite a big TV that's, here. That's big TV. Big TV, yeah. right? And so uh, in the Sandpiper front living, you saw how the TV came up. This one obviously is stationary, just sits right here right. Um, where, where it goes and things like that. So yeah. I really like these cabinets up here too with the glass, glass inserts. Insert. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Lots of storage and even storage up over top here, right? Mm -hmm. So you just the nicks, crannies, and things like that with light switches going across to everything. I mean, like I said, turns your lights on and off. Yeah. So kind uh, of a something cool else feature. that for folks that are new to RVs, like it's not hard to open this, but you have to you have to pull on this. It's something Correct. that as a guy who doesn't know anything about RVs, you think, what can I store in here that's not going to fall out when the doors open as I hit the brakes? Right, right. These these they stay, and it's it's a, a little detail that um. A lot of people who don't know RVs may not understand. But right, yeah. right. It definitely is. And, um, you know, with the um, with the different things. So this guy right here, uh, we looked at in the Cardinal how it had the pull-out sofa. Uh -huh. This has a pull-out sofa here, a pull-out sofa behind me. So you're talking about two queen-size beds coming up in a small walkway between the two. Nice. Okay, so if you do have people coming mm -hmm. um, or might come with you or you don't really know, you could still have room for space. them. But you don't have a bunkhouse that you don't have such a big living room, big um, you know, front kitchen um, as the other one does. Yeah. So kind of a cool little setup, but it looks like we might actually have another question here. All right. We got a few actually. Shoot. Uh, they're wanting is anybody to know... asking a question that I could answer? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll how answer. do you get your hair to stay where it is? <laughs> it's there you go. lots of hair wax. <laughs> Literally <laughs> hair wax. We've got, what is the length? What is the R? Did you answer the R value? Because I got the R values. The R values? Um, I actually did not know the R values okay, off the top the of my R head. The R values there. are... No, I won't be able to find it. Uh, 40 on the roof, 38 on the floor, and the walls are 11. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, by the way. I could have answered that one. In case you were wondering. And yeah. I'm sure you already know what the uh, R value is of the windows, obviously. Yeah, right? it's probably 12. Yeah, yeah one, close. <laughs> you just put a two after, right? Yeah, I meant one yeah. or two. Yeah, right. But one, is it one? Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's what a lot of people miss in terms of R values, okay? They're thinking, man, i I got to have that high R value, right? No, only uh, problem okay, is... Okay, so I'm pretending like I know what our value is. Our value is the thickness of the wall okay. or the ceiling or it's essentially the insulation between the two, gotcha. right? Okay. Um, but the, the problem is, is that this thing has a lot of windows. And most campers have a lot of windows. Uh -huh. Where's heat going to go out of? 
the smallest, you know, easiest way it can leave, right? right? right. Windows. R value is one. So, yes, R values mean something. Yes, all of this extra stuff means something. But at the same time, a lot of these campers have a lot of windows. So, you got to still imagine the fact that it's going to escape. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, right. hey, that's Lane, why it matters. Uh, they want to know is there a pantry? In the kitchen. A pantry in the kitchen. Um, Hi. Great question. Uh, it looks like we might have a small pantry over here on the left side, right beside our bar. Um, but in terms of like cabinet space, um, we do have cabinets um, and, and such underneath the whole entire round over, system. Yeah, over I mean, here. as we're opening everything up, you can kind of I mean, see all of the areas. So even though there might not be a pantry in it, yeah, there's you still do have a, a, lot of space. a ton of yeah. space crazy, in there. Crazy amount of storage. And also uh, a shout out to Melvin. Melvin joined us this morning. Well, I guess it was at noon. Uh, already did a credit app. Already bought a trailer. All Thank right. you, Melvin, for joining the RBW Wonderful. family. It means the world to us. We Wonderful. appreciate it. Melvin got himself a trailer. Absolutely, awesome. right? Well, and that's, you know, obviously like with all the different, you know, storage compartments in here, it's hard to think about you know does it have a pantry or doesn't it yes that matters it matters in a camper that doesn't have as much counter space as much cabinets as yeah, this yeah. i mean we were looking at the sandpiper front living room um and that didn't have a ton of room you know right. it just didn't in the kitchen but you were had that pantry there to help make up with it but this one however the cabinets just they they go around the whole thing and even up in the top yeah, corners there, get these. yeah you know even up in the top corners you have tons of room in there so Yes, it doesn't have a pantry, but nonetheless, you are taken care of with all of the cabinets right. inside there. And we just we just had another question about fees. There's people that are saying, you know, like I went to pick up my RV at dealer. Oh yeah, 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 and, for sure. Uh, got hit with thousands of dollars in fees, and we don't do that. No, uh, we put it in writing for you. Customers have asked, can I get that price in writing? I think they think maybe it's a little low to be true. Or they're going to get you. Uh, or we're going to get them. Right. Something but like that. No, we we put everything in writing, and when you show up, you're going to pay the price that you pay. Uh, we have a $295 dock and title fee. Correct. Uh, but, you know, we are we hear the horror stories all the time. And, and one's a really huge, over 100 locations. People figure out pretty quick who camp, mm -hmm. who I'm talking about. Uh, fees are like seven to $11,000 when people get there. Wow. You know, but unfortunately, you've already given a deposit. Right. A lot of dealers are closer in the 3000 range, but then you have a question to make. You and your wife show up, and it's like, well, I've already given you $1,000. Okay, do you want to pay another three? Mm -hmm. Or do I give up my thousand dollars and leave? We tell people don't don't do either. Neither. Don't give up your thousand dollars. Call your credit card company and fight it. But uh, we'll put any price in writing. We always do, and and we always have. So people can shop comfortable, mm -hmm. knowing that the the price is the price. Well, and, and how many and times have we had pay. people that have left said dealerships and walked out because oh, yeah. of the amount of money we were saving? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. It's, you know, it's one, kind of one of the black eyes of the industry. And, so we understand the question. We're getting it from a lot of people, especially on Facebook. A lot of people are saying, is this the real price? What am I going to pay when I get there? Right. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but you, you'll pay exactly what we said. Okay. You know. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. Absolutely. We got a little more of this. Uh, yeah, a little more to kind of show here. Like we said, um, Bighorn does a little bit different things in terms of how they go about um, what they're doing. They're, they're taking their time to kind of show the... Um, I guess craftsmanship of the camper and so you got three sliding doors here on this one Okay, they do oh. all break apart um, and shut you have a window up top All right, so you're not feeling claustrophobic or anything like that. Yeah, um, and then also Solid surface in the bathroom most of the campers we've stepped in up to this point although they had solid surface in the kitchen mm -hmm. They don't have solid surface in the bathroom. Okay, so as you can tell Bighorn's got that uh, pretty cool looking sink honestly cool too sink. Um, and then obviously plenty of leg room when it comes to using yeah. the restroom and things like that this is a lot of drawer space for sure for sure now we talk about uh washer and dryer a lot where where are we going to have the washer and dryer at because people are using this full time uh -huh. you know that's that's like i said bighorn is buying that uh full time you do see the um little bit of room here in there for your washer and dryer yeah, and the, as the, well as cabinets everywhere check but the hookup is right up there for sure it is it is in there Around for the sure there it is Right around the corner there. Small uh, small setup for a TV. Obviously, I mean, you know, we'll open this one up right here. Just show you how deep things are in here. Yeah. I mean, you could fit a few shoes in there, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just a few, <laughs> Not right? all my wife's. But, no, no, but, of course not. Of course not. And the not. thing is, like, you're, you're obviously trading out some uh, television space for the, this. But in a room that's this big, mm -hmm. that is, if you need a TV bigger than that <laughs> in a room that where you're, I mean... It's You're time right for spectacles. There. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or rec specs. Exactly. However you want to do it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I think I would give up a little TV space for this much 
storage, storage and things space, like yeah. that. But um, I, I think that's just about it. Unless we have some other questions, I think we're about off yeah. on this one. Dave's no, I, I think we're good. But Lane, we have a lot of people asking. They would like to do business with you directly. Okay. They've enjoyed you, so would you tell them uh, your extension? Give the phone number with your extension. Yeah, perfect, your email. perfect, guys. I totally appreciate that. Totally Absolutely. unexpected, guys. I love what I do. Um, I, I love you know talking to people and saving people a lot of money. I mean, that's why I've been doing this. That's why I've been stayed put. I bounced from spot to spot to spot, selling just about everything under right. the sun, you know. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, um, you know. I love what I do, but you know, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, personal extension here, guys, is 157. Okay, so 937 843 9000, extension 157. Or I do have a personal line here. Me or someone on my team can help guys uh, help you out. Um, I do work with people um, beside me that help you guys. We do that, so you're always taken care of. And that's going to be 937 843 2074. So that's you call that line, it's coming directly to me or one of my sales partners here. We'll get you all taken care of, for sure. And it may be crazy, again, for the next day or so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to right think right now, um, you know, I've had people calling me directly, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm here. You know, yeah. this is live, you know. Right. And um, and then also the fact that, you know, my, my sales partner that, that works directly with me, as though we do have other people calling for us and things like that, mm -hmm. she's obviously now fielding all of those calls. So we're obviously, right, right. you know, swamped at this point. Yeah. So, you know, we, we've we've loved what's going on here with the RV show. Yeah. It's been nothing but a success up to this point. Awesome. So we're and pretty excited. Speaking of phone calls, we still have the flash sale going on. 937-5-something-something-3211. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, it's right here. 534-877-534-3211. <laughs> That's the, is the rug still going on? Are we still doing the rug? All right, so the rug is still for $55. The chairs are $55, high quality. Two uh, different size palm trees, the neon palm trees. You've got the, or the, uh, the fluorescent, or the, what is it? LED. Uh, LED. Uh, <laughs> five foot and seven foot. <laughs> the five foot is 90. The seven foot is 135. You're right. So don't forget about that. Um, and, and obviously uh, shipping as well. You know, obviously shipping on yeah, top yeah, of that, yeah, whatever right. it needs to be. Uh, and that, and oh, that's, that's with, with shipping. shipping. Okay, yeah. so that, that includes shipping. Perfect. Uh, but we're gonna get back in the band. I know a lot of people are sending out a lot of love for Trailer Swift. Uh, again, I mentioned earlier what a brilliant name that oh, is. Oh, for sure. Do you know who came up with that name? Well, hopefully, it wasn't you. It was me. Oh, great! It, it was, was me. Him. Tim Richardson, right there, said, "Hey, we need a name for this band, this incredible band." And I, now that I've seen them play and how incredible they are, we may have undershot. Oh, absolutely! Because they are fantastic. Wonderful. But, uh, We've got them coming up right now, Trainer Swift, with a brand new set. So check these guys out. They're incredible.